Morning, morning. I have another poem today. How much time in life I had dedicated to distractions from what nourished my essence. Distractions that would plaster up, so I fought, my wounds. My fears of listening up to my heart's ever-present tunes. It was meant to bring me so sought-after peace. I simply mistaken escaping with bliss. These days I get the gist of this. Once again, I am an optimist. <laughs> right, so a little bit happy poem today. Happy and bad. Talking about, you know, going into fears and, and you know, addressing those things that kind of hinder, uh, hinder us and stop us from following our heart. Yeah. So this is my, uh, you know, this is my ever present message, really. Follow your heart, follow your passion, and and just you know uh, by doing that, you're gonna make yourself happier. You're gonna make the world happier, and you're gonna make connections with people that you never thought uh, w were possible. Because when we open our hearts, the more we connect with other people. Yeah, that's my uh, my you know mission is to. Uh, fully open my heart and trust in life trust in other people because that's been my biggest wounding you know in the childhood and later on in teens and early 20s uh, distrust in life distrust in people distrust in men mas masculine and distrust in feminine too in in women and just in general in life yeah so uh, so that's been my work for last don't know three four maybe five years and uh, slowly but surely i'm i'm releasing all those blockages that have been hindering me uh, you know when it comes to following my uh, my true passion my uh, my essence and i'm feeling free feeling free to share like like now you know like few years ago i don't think i would just sit down write a poem and five minutes later would be uh, happy to share it with the world. I, I would be probably thinking about mm, this. This doesn't make sense here. This can be improved. You know, perfectionism, perfectionism, and stuff like that. Yeah, but uh, that thing, uh, you know, I, I think I've I've done, you know, work on on this area in this area as well. So uh, yeah, going going kind of not going past, but addressing the, the you know what's what's in unconscious when it comes to our self criticism is very important as well because that of, often uh, you know keeps us put uh, that self criticism tells you that oh, even if you try even if uh, you think it's good it's not going to be good uh, to you know to the degree that you thought you 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 were capable of achieving but uh, that's all uh, defensive mechanism of, of our mind that it, it is kind of like you know uh, always gonna dangle that carrot a bit further away from you so uh, so you you kind of like give up because you you think that you will never reach reach that and only when we uh, when we are uh, when we acknowledge that inner critic and we get to know why this inner critic is operating in our system then uh, we start seeing that actually what I need to express is just my natural voice, is my natural essence, what I feel. You know, I don't have to be uh, certain, I don't have to be, uh, I mean, certain uh, as a, like something that is, you know, in your mind as a goal, for example. You know, when I, uh, when I record music, uh, and then in the past I would be thinking, oh, I want to be like that person, or I want to make music like that person, and you know, and that obviously would be would keep me in self criticism because you can never aspire to be someone else, yeah, yeah. So be yourself, follow your passion, and stay true to your heart. Yeah, have a lovely day.